गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल गो टू द न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स इन पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स वी हैव डिफरेंट ग्रुप्स सच एस यू सी द पीरियोडिक टेबल दिस ऑल कंप्राइजेस टू द पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स 13 14 15 16 17 18 सो दिस ऑल योर पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट ग्रुप्स दिस इज पी ब्लॉक एंड दिस आर द ग्रुप्स प्रेजेंट इन दिस पी ब्लॉक we have also studied the s block for second groups and third to 12th groups are your d block elements we will read in the next semester right so this in the periodic table this is our p block elements in this p block elements you have already studied 13th group element and 14th group elements now we have we have in this chapter 14 15 16 17 and 0 group or 18th group elements please don't get confused 1 2 3 4 till 18 is iupac accepted nomenclature of these groups and roman number 1 a 2 a s block elements 3 a to 0 this is common nomenclature so 1 to 18 also okay or this is also okay so 15 16 17 18 groups we are going to read in this chapter right so first we will be discussing about the 15th group elements in the p block elements we will be discussing group 15th elements and what are the different group 15 elements are present here you know it's symbol nitrogen phosphorus capital letters all arsenic a capital s small antimony s b stibium actually bismuth b i so these are the short notations of this elements and their atomic numbers are 7 fifteen thirty three fifty one eighty three okay nitrogen phosphorus arsenic antimony bismuth these are the elements of this 15th group elements as their outer electron enters into the p uh, orbital these are belongs to the for example its electronic configuration i will write atomic number is 7 therefore 1s2 2s2 2p3 so p orbital last electron entered therefore this belongs to the p block and they have outer shell electrons 5 therefore it belongs to the 15th group element ns2 np3 is general electronic configuration for all these elements right that's why they are called as 15th group elements now we'll go to the occurrence of these elements these elements first of all nitrogen nitrogen is we know already molecular nitrogen is present in atmosphere about 78% and it is also present in the earth's crust as sodium nitrate and potassium nitrate phosphorus occurs as apatite family that is fluorapatite like that this is the um, formula of the fluorapatite and it's also present in the bones milk eggs etc in the living things and uh, the last three arsenic antimony bismuth are found mainly in, as the sulfate minerals it's not that important but just you have to remember from where we are getting the these elements now next we'll be reading about the electronic configuration so electronic configuration of these elements electronic configuration so if we write electronic configuration 7 is a nitrogen atomic number so i can write helium in the bracket instead of writing 1s2 because helium's configuration neon argon like that i can write the so these are the properties we are reading and the first electronic configuration is looks like this see here 2s2 2p3 end configuration only i am writing neon after neon means after 10 after 10 electrons five electrons will enters into the 3s2 and 3p 3 s and p are orbitals so you have to write in small letters 
whereas here also second letter small but whereas the first letter of stibium or antimony with the capital letter first letters of all the elements are capital letter only the second element or second letter only small letter all your orbitals must be in a small letters then arsenic 3d10 after 4s2 4p3 5s2 5p3 6s2 6p3 if you identify in all these what is the common general electronic configuration of this group elements is i can write ns2 np3 right actually because of the, these two electrons and three electrons five electrons therefore 50a group element or 15th element group element whatever right so this is the general electronic configuration or electronic configuration of this group and coming to the atomic size trends or what what happens to the atomic size ionization enthalpy in this group coming to the atomic size as we know from top to bottom i can write like this top to bottom if you consider from nitrogen to bismuth atomic size will be increases and especially from arsenic to but from arsenic as to bismuth this increase is less less increase we find this is due to completely filled shells due to completely filled shells and atomic size or ionic radii or atomic mass all one at the same they increases down the group now coming to the ionization enthalpy ionization enthalpy is reverse to the atomic size if atomic size increases ionization enthalpy decreases down the group isn't it decreases down the group because as the size is much more it takes less uh, attraction towards the nucleus therefore easy to remove the electron therefore less energy is required that is less ionization enthalpy is present but this ionization enthalpy when compared to this group with the previous group that is 14th group elements all uh, down the group it is decreases only but when compared to when compared to 14th group elements ionization enthalpy is very high ionization enthalpy is high this is due to number one is smaller size and the other one is due to half filled electronic configuration half filled orbitals because half filled orbitals makes stability if you see all p3 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 we are saying that means p orbital is half filled p6 actually we can fill so p3 electrons are filled three or three boxes if you write like this we will fill no so this is half filled we call half filled electronic configuration gives the stability to that atom therefore due to these two reasons these are having higher ionization enthalpy than the 14th group elements coming to the next property electronegativity electronegativity decreases down the group decreases down the group that means the topmost element will have the most electronegativity that is nitrogen shows most a more electronegativity more electronegative and in mulligan scale it shows electronegativity around 3.1 whereas phosphorus electronegativity is two point one it is three point zero and this is two point one in millikan scale electronegativity of this phosphorus and the other elements does not show much uh, electronegativity difference so in periodic table if you see the elements 
oxygen and fluorine these three are only the elements which have the highest electronegativity fluorine is the most electronegative atom in the periodic table then goes to oxygen then nitrogen fluorine in millikan scale has four electronegativity in uh, oxygen 3.8 nitrogen is 3 so of uh, nitrogen and chlorine will have similar almost but try to remember fluorine and oxygen is more more have most electronegative elements in the periodic table and uh, coming to the metallic property metallic property increases down the group increases down the group if you see nitrogen is a nitrogen phosphorus these both are non metals whereas arsenic and antimony are metalloids whereas bismuth is metal then coming to some physical properties these are these all elements occur as polyatomic and uh, dinitrogen may i write n2 dinitrogen occur as diatomic See here n2 only we will write we cannot write n because in in atmosphere n2 only is present is available or is occur as n2 whereas metal occur as single elements like na sodium potassium k like that but gases or and it is a gas and phosphorus arsenic antimony these all are tetraatomic and solids boiling point increases down the group may I write it this arrow increases down the group except nitrogen all elements exhibit allotropic nature or allotropy allotropy means occurrence more than in one form they occur as different format now next one is chemical properties of these group elements first one oxidation state so what is the common oxidation state and what are the different oxidation state exhibited by these elements is uh, minus 3 plus 3 and plus 5 are the most common uh, oxidation states exhibited by these elements minus 3 means what minus 3 means it can uh, accept the three electrons due to having the uh, three uh, half filled electrons in the in their configuration right for example, in this if you see, this last shell has 3 electrons. So, they can accept 3 more electrons to get the octet rule. Therefore, plus 3 oxidation we call. Plus 3 means, uh, minus 3 means gaining electron. Plus 3 means loss of electron. Or either these 3 electrons can lose and can get the positive plus 3 oxidation state. Or else, all these 5 electrons can lose and can get the plus 5 oxidation state. So, minus 3, gaining 3 electrons, plus 3, losing 3 electrons, plus 5, losing all 5 electrons can be possible. But, but down the group, um, com, uh, minus 3 oxidation state increases. The tendency to exhibit minus 3 oxidation state decreases down the group due to increase in size because already we said that size increases down the group bismuth is bigger one right so because of this it cannot take three electrons 
repulsion can appear because already it is a bigger one. It cannot be much more bigger one. Therefore, plus three minus three oxidation state decreases. The down the down arrow decreases down the group and stability of plus three increases. Plus three means losing of three electrons and stability of plus five also decreases down the group. These two decreases down the group and this plus three that means plus three is most common we can uh, remember and this is mainly due to the inert pair effect inert pair means the ns electrons they don't want to participate in the bond reluctance of ns electrons to form bond bond formation See here plus plus three is increases plus three is increasing means want to uh, remove these two electrons not all five See here, these two electrons won't go. Only these electrons will go. Right. All 5 plus 5. Gaining 3 electrons. Minus 3 oxidation state. But plus 3 oxidation state means these electrons lose. So these two electrons will not leave. Right. So this is called inert pair effect. The stability of plus 5 also decreases. And one interesting, interesting thing here is nitrogen exhibit all oxidation states. From minus 3 to plus 5. It can show minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and all. Right. And here is some examples I have given. Ammonia. Formula is NH3. How to calculate your oxidation state? I hope everybody know how to calculate the oxidation state. Right. See here. If you have NH3, you have to identify the most electronegative atom in it. For example, nitrogen is most electronegative atom than hydrogen. Therefore, it gains the negative charge. It gets the positive charge. How many hydrogen will be? Plus 1. For example, this X we will consider X plus 3. Plus 3. Because 3 hydrogens will give 1, 1 unit plus 3. Is equals to 0. Sum of the oxidation state of the neutral atom. Because this is don't have any charge. Is equals to 0. Then X is equals to minus 3. Isn't it? Therefore, my nitrogen has minus 3 oxidation state in ammonia. So, here is minus 3. Similarly, if you calculate two nitrogens, NH2, NH2. See your NH2, NH2. May I write 2X because two nitrogens and plus 4 because two hydrogens, two hydrogen plus 4, 0. Then 2X is equals to minus 4. Then X is equals to minus 4 by 2. It will be minus 2 oxidation state in this one. So this is minus 2 oxidation state. Whereas here minus 1 oxidation state. Whereas here 0 elemental form. N2, N triple bond N. We will write N triple bond N. Therefore 0 oxidation state we have to consider. Then N2O. Oxygen more electronegative than nitrogen. Therefore, oxygen gains the minus 2 oxidation state. 2 nitrogens, I will write here for your sake, N2O. Now, negative charge will be taken, negative oxidation state will be for the oxygen because oxygen is more electronegative than nitrogen. And oxygen always generally have the minus 2 oxidation state. Therefore, may I write 2X? Whichever you don't know that you write X. Oxygen, hydrogen standard, we know it. So, plus minus 2 is equals to 0 because this is also neutral atom. Then 2x is equals to, if it is go there, plus 2. Then x is equals to 1, plus 1. Therefore, here is my plus 1 oxidation state for the nitrogen. And here oxygen minus 2, nitrogen plus 2. And here oxygen 6, this will be plus 3 and here 8 therefore this will be plus 4 and here plus 5 even HNO2 takes the plus 3 oxidation state HNO3 nitrogen takes the plus 5 oxidation states so from minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all oxidation states can be exhibited by nitrogen due to its smaller size and due to its more electronegativity